A lot of people, when they want to begin creating videos, they don't get started because they don't have the equipment or the money to buy it. So today, I'm going to be making a video just using free stock footage and royalty free music all found online and showing you how you can do the same thing. So, let's get started. Hello there. I know I said we won't be using any equipment, but we do need some kind of device to edit on. So I'm going to be using my 6 year old MacBook Pro and a copy of Final Cut Pro 10. But you can just use a smartphone and free apps to edit with if that's all you have. You can even find free trials of more advanced software if you want to try them out. Ok so on with the video. I'm going to be using two different sites to take footage from. These are pexels.com and pixabay.com. You can create an account with both of these and then download stock footage absolutely free. You'll just need to give credit back to the artist. I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. But first, let's come up with an idea for a video. So something I like to do if I'm stuck for ideas is to listen to some music and see if I get any inspiration. A really good place to find free music is on the YouTube audio library. Type this into a search engine and then click the link. Here you will find a vast array of music that is free to use, it's royalty free and you usually don't need to give any credit. But you can check this under the license type tab. You can easily search for a particular type of music or filter them by mood or genre. So let's listen to some songs and see if we can get any ideas. So as I listen to this one, I imagine something scary or maybe some kind of fast paced chasing. But I'm going to listen to a few more and see if anything else comes to mind. So I found this song here called Pause and it's given me some inspiration. It makes me think of a breakup happening. So I've got an idea of a lady, she's broken hearted, going off to work on herself, maybe travels the world to sort of get over her partner. So now we have an idea, let's head over to pexel.com. I'm going to search for breakup and see what comes up. I found a collection here of different breakup scenes that look like they could work, so I'm going to download a few of them. Click on the video you want and it will come up with a download box, which you can't see on mine. It also shows you how you need to credit the creator. Now I have a few clips to play with, I'm going to put them into my editing software along with the music. I'm going to just drag them together and roughly cut them to the music to see what it looks like. Ok so I think that works really well with the music and I feel pretty confident that I can create something here. Now the original idea I had was for the lady to maybe find a new purpose in life and to get over the relationship. But I found this clip of the same couple being happy and enjoying a drink together. Which gave me a new idea that there will be a flashback to how they met and good times they shared and then I would use this scene at the end to sort of represent them working things out. So I went back onto Pexel to look for clips of couples being happy and I also used Pixabay. Which is another free to use stock footage site. See the problem I have here is that I couldn't find any with the same actors in but I managed to find ones that are silhouetted so hopefully the storytelling still works. So anyway I downloaded a few and clipped them to the music where it then goes back to the couple making up. After I have everything in the right order and in time of the music, the next thing I want to do is to add some sound effects. These will help give some more depth to the video. So there's a couple of places I will usually get free sound effects from. One is back on the YouTube audio library under the effects tab. But I actually prefer to use a site called freesound.org. People upload their recordings onto here and you are free to use them. Each one will tell you if you need to credit the creator. There is a wide choice of effects available and an easy to use search function. You may find the quality isn't always as good as a paid subscription site but I can usually find something usable on here. So yeah I have this clip here of the lady typing on her phone. So I want to search for a phone typing sound effect. So this one here sounds like it could work, so check under the link and it will tell you if you need to credit and how. 
You will need to create an account, but I already have one, so I'm just going to download this. And while we're on this site, here's a little tip for you. If you find a sound effect you think might work, but are not sure, you can click on this loop playback on the effect and it will keep playing over. You can then watch your clip and listen to it at the same time. It's just a quick way of checking it will work before you download it. Ok so I've already made a list of the sound effects I want to find so I'm just going to search through the site and download a few. So here I have the phone typing sound effect. I will drag it down into my timelines below the clip of her typing and see how it sounds. Now I think it works well but it's a bit out of sync with the video. So I'm just going to have a play around with it to try and match it up a bit better. So with this bit, I matched up the first click with her thumb and then slowed it down just a tiny amount so the last click also aligns with her thumb touching the phone and it makes the rest of it look like it's also matched up. Ok yeah, so that looks good, I'm happy with that. I'm just going to add the other effects in and skip ahead. So this is what my project looks like with all the sound effects added in. They definitely make a difference and well worth taking the time to include them in. So what I haven't done yet is create all the transitions between the clips which is something I would usually do before adding the sound effects in, but I'm just going to do that now. So I know a lot of people only have access to basic software so I'm going to keep the transitions here simple and basic as well. I'm just going to skip through and add them in. Ok so the video is finished. As I was adding in the transitions I ended up changing a couple of the clips because they just didn't really work. I then mixed the sound together to make sure all the audio levels were correct and then just added some basic colour grading and that's it, it's finished. So let's see how it looks. best of videos but you know it tells a story and it gave me a chance to practice my editing skills so I hope some people found this useful and were able to take something away from it. If you've made your own video using stock footage then I would love to see how that's turned out so send me a link and I'll definitely check that out. If you enjoyed this video then like it, give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more of this kind of content then let me know and I will try to create more like this. If you don't like it, also let me know and I won't create more like this. I'm trying to upload a new video every week so if you're interested in seeing how my videos come along then hit subscribe and you'll be notified when a new video comes in. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in the next video. Goodbye.